am not willing to stay home and say, I'm not going to pick up the gauntlet. I'm not going to fight. I am going to fight for our liberty, and I am going to fight for our country. If you send me to Washington come March 15th. We need to recover the prosperity in this country that so many have enjoyed, that most of us Our children enjoyed. and our grandchildren will never have prosperity if they have to carry that burden. So who's going to protect them? Who's going to give them a life and a future? We have to do it. We have to be the ones that stand up and say, no more. These, these Democratic candidates, they believe in socialism. They believe in destroying the economic engine, which has created more wealth and greater lives for more people than any society in history. But they want to tear that down. And we cannot let that happen. We don't have the security that we once had. We don't even have borders at our southern You should border. ask yourself, what is the problem? I mean, every time I vote, I vote for the conservative, right? So why is it that we can't seem to get anything really done? We can't stop Obamacare. We can't stop the amnesty program. We, we can't stop Planned Parenthood. We, we, we can't uh, cut back the spending the way we should. What is the problem? The problem is we're deceived. We're deceived over and over again by people that should be our friends, that tell us one thing, and then they go to Washington and they vote like liberal Democrats. And I'm sick and tired of it, and that's why I'm running for Congress, because I'm not going to stand for it anymore, and neither should you. I'm hoping we're going to have every single person in this room say, yes, man, I'm willing to try, I'm willing to help, I'm willing to do what's necessary to join Jim Jordan and the Freedom Caucus in order to push the Republican-led Congress to real conservative values and save this country for my children and your grandchildren. And I need your commitment to get that done.